Let us now have a look at the calendar module. This is one of the most advanced calendars I've ever used. I really do forget that I'm working in a browser and not a rich client. Let me show you. I will first select the calendar from the shortcut buttons at the top left hand side. Like last time you'll notice that the content area changes, but this time to show me my calendar. The panel at the top has also changed, but this time giving me my calendar functions. The panel now shows me various new options, including different views I can use, as well as different time ranges I can select. If we select the month view, you'll see the whole month depicted with all my entries shown clearly inside it. Now let me look at my team view. This is an extremely important view and essential for promoting and simplifying teaming and true collaboration. Its simplicity encourages working within teams and becoming aware of other team members. It seems a simple thing but has huge benefits. Now let us go to the working week. This simply cuts out weekends that for business are really considered working days and expands the view for clearer visibility. Let us now create a new calendar appointment. The simplest way to do that in this view is place the mouse on the start time of the meeting and then drag out the duration. Now I just enter the title of the appointment and we're done. It's that simple. If I make a mistake with the title of the meeting, all I have to do is select the appointment again and edit the title directly in this view. Again, very simple and very usable. If I want to move the appointment, I can simply take hold of it and drag it and move it to where it needs to be. If the appointment has changed and I need to extend the meeting, all I have to do is again select the appointment and drag out the correct size. All very simple and extremely efficient ways of using this calendar view. Now, if I want to get into the appointment and edit it, I can simply select it, hit the right mouse button and edit it. By the way, double clicking works as well. In this window, we can do all the usual things you're used to doing with appointments, so I won't go into details. Back in the calendar view, I can now do something rather interesting. Let's say this meeting has a task associated with it. For example, um, a report has to be written before the appointment is held. In this view, I can also associate tasks, actually almost anything, with an appointment. This is done like so. That task is now linked to that appointment, and everyone will see that it has to be done before the meeting should commence.